Okay, she be gone, she be gone every single night How's it going everybody? This is Todd Adrabo. I hope you're having another great day and welcome back to another video. All right, it's time for another edition of Random Thoughts. In this series, I talk about whatever is on my mind, whether it's something interesting in the world, a personal story that I want to share, or if I just want to rant about something. And for this one, I'm going to be talking about why autistics struggle at job interviews and what we can do to help them improve and help them increase their chances at getting a job. Now, this is something that I have personally went through a lot during my time of trying to find an internship and a job in my industry and that's not just me alone there are a whole lot of other people that are autistic that have struggled with trying to find a job through interviews so I'm going to explain a little bit about that and what I think can be done to help them with increasing their chances of getting a job. Now as we all know there is a real epidemic here in the United States when it comes to autism in fact autism is one of the highest rising intellectual disabilities there is in the United States. Take that for me personally because I am one of those people that have autism. I explained a little bit about that in one of my prior videos a couple years back and usually autism does a lot to affect your communication and as a result it may limit you to what you may be able to do including you know doing some things on your own responsibly and a few other things as well but if there is one thing that they are good at is that they are good at doing their jobs you know autistics can prove to be just as capable of being able to do a physical job at work than most other people do and they really do very well if they get the proper instructions as well in fact they are able to do so much more thanks to their autism that they can prove to be some of the best workers there are here in America in the job industry. However, the problem here is that they really don't have the opportunity to really show that because one of the main reasons why is because of the interview process. And this is something that has become a major problem, you know. In jobs, usually you have to apply for a job in order to get an interview. And that's exactly what I did a whole lot of the time, you know. I did for many of the jobs that I was trying to go for, I sent a simple application application and if I got a call back to do an interview I would be able to do that. Unfortunately though when you're an autistic it's so much harder for you to be able to do an interview because of that lack of communication that you usually have thanks to your autism. Autistics are known to struggle mightily with communication and because of that that's one of the main reasons why they have struggled with being able to land a job successfully because of an interview whatsoever. Now this is not on autistic applicants whatsoever. They do everything they can to try to get a job you know especially with you know like sending in their application you know crafting a good resume and you know just practicing a whole lot just so that way they can be able to succeed in it unfortunately you know there are just so many curveballs that are just thrown at them that it makes it hard for them to be able to find a way to be able to succeed at that interview and unfortunately a lot of times that's the reason why so many autistics in the United States that are adults like me are unemployed and that's exactly why the unemployment rate for autistics people nationwide is so high I'm one of the very few that can fortunately say that I was able to land a job in my field and that's really because of a lot of practice that I took to be able to get this job that I'm working at right now in New Jersey Zipney. But it's still a problem that has to be addressed and there are a few ways that in my opinion I think can be solved. Number one, you gotta do everything you can to help autistics practice. Now I know practice is one of the main reasons why you are able to succeed at a job interview. In fact, if you don't practice whatsoever, you are not going to be able to succeed in the interview. And uh, because of that, it will unfortunately hurt your chances of getting a job. And so, while you do have to take a lot of practice, it's good to help them give a little extra practice. For example, at my organization at Best Buddies, which of course helped me land a job at New Jersey Zipney, one of the things that they did was that they had an actual session at least a couple weeks before my actual interview with the New Jersey Zipney, in which we spoke to a few professionals that were experts at interviewing for particular jobs. And so, I took the time to participate in that and speak to a few of them, one a little bit about them and also learn you know how to answer some of the questions you know how to reply to some of them and just you know how to work like overall when you are doing a job interview so I was able to participate in that and believe it or not that was exactly how I was able to nail my interview with the New Jersey Symphony and that was exactly how I was able to land a job at a New Jersey Symphony. And that's something I think we need more of for autistic people, you know, more of those one-on-one -on -one sessions to learn how to successfully do an interview. And so if you have somebody that is autistic, you know, I would encourage them to check that out, you know, try to see exactly what you can invest them in when it comes to interview sessions, because those are extremely beneficial. And not only that, also practice with them at home too. You know, your expertise, especially, you know, with helping people with interviewing, especially those that are experts as well, you know, those 
those that work at interviewing or recruiting companies that are able to help those with autism be able to land those interviews, they can really be your best friend. So I would encourage you to practice, 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 you know, help them with being able to find a way to answer the questions correctly and anticipate it so that way they are able to succeed in their interviews. The next thing that can be done is to help them learn the environment. Now, a lot of times you have to look at, you know, what a company is before you go into the interview. Usually, most of the time, I would just look online, you know, look at the website of that company, look up some of their information, learn exactly what a company is about and what they do, and learn a little bit about the skills of the position in general before going in on the interview. And that's exactly what I did before my job in New Jersey Symphony. And that's something that I think autistics really struggle at. And when it comes time for that interview, I feel like that it just gets a lot harder because you know exactly what the environment is going to be like, you know exactly what you need to do. But the problem is, is that once the questions get thrown at you, if it's one in particular that you know you haven't really discussed a whole lot in the interview, that could be all it takes to really throw the entire interview process off and really hurt your, your artistic's ability to be able to land a job. And that's something that happens quite a bit. And exactly why the autistic unemployment rate is up is because employers keep throwing questions that autistic people may not have been prepared for that much. And as a result, it has really hurt their ability to be able to land a job. That's something I think we can really help them more with. Give them a chance to adapt to your environment. You know, learn exactly a little more about the company. You know, maybe even give them like a little tour around the company before doing the interview. Give them a tour of the buildings, you know, give them a chance to see exactly what it is like. And really just based off of what you learn online, give them an opportunity to learn a little bit more about the organization before you go into the actual interview and answer those questions overall. Because you know, overall, that can really help them gain a lot more knowledge about the company. And as a result, that can help make them a lot more confident when it comes time to actually do the interview. So something like that can give them a real major boost to be able to help them nail their interview and land a job with their organization of their choice. Number three, be yourself. And really that's what I think autistics can do quite a bit of, you know. They're very good at being able to do exactly what they have to do. But the thing is, is that, you know, in order to be successful in an interview, you have to work the best way that you can. And sometimes, you know, there are people that try to work like somebody else, and unfortunately that ends up throwing the entire thing off because that ends up hurting them more than it does helping them. The best thing that you can do in this situation for this autistic employee is to really encourage them to just be themselves. Yes, look nice, look professional, but at the same time, you know, don't try to force them to be somebody else. You know, try to help them with just, you know, being confident in themselves because, you know, just being who you are and being exactly what you want to be is exactly one of the best ways to help you with nailing your job because it shows that you're confident, you're willing to learn, and more importantly, you're willing to have fun. At a job, you are expected to really follow the rules of the company and also bring your own ideas as well to be able to succeed at that job and that really plays a role in the interview process if you're trying to be like somebody else it's only going to hurt you so you know if you're somebody that's happy-go-lucky be happy-go-lucky at the interview if you're somebody that you know takes a lot of man to detail and strives to be the most successful person you can be be like that during the interview because sometimes that can really help you out with being able to nail an interview and I feel like that's something that I think businesses need to do a lot more of when it comes to interviewing autistics is that giving them the confidence and the encouragement so that way they can be able to be themselves and be the best person that they can possibly be when it comes time for the interview. And so that's really another way to be able to help them succeed at the interview. All right, the fourth and I think really the final main point that I think I can use to help them with succeeding interview, this is one that I think can be really controversial at times. And this was one that I was initially hesitant to do quite a bit because I felt like that would be a major fear of mine that would really hurt my ability to get them a job and really that's something that I resisted doing quite a bit but when it came time for that interview at the New Jersey Symphony I decided that this was something that I was going to do and in the end it actually ended up helping me more with landing a job than it did hurt me and so really this is something that really can be controversial but in the end it definitely doesn't hurt to do it in fact it might help you more with landing a job than it can keep you from getting it 
do not be afraid to disclose your autism to your employer. I say that because, you know, there may be an organization like, for example, the New Jersey Symphony that I work at, that might be disability friendly. You know, there are a lot more employers that really encourage those that have intellectual disabilities like autism, be able to help them with landing a job and also give them the exact resources that they need so that way they can be able to succeed. And the company that I work at is one of those. You know, New Jersey Symphony, they were very welcoming to me. You know, they took well with understanding my disability and all that, and they were willing to help me out and really help me with succeeding at my job. And because I disclosed my autism, which is something that I had resisted doing quite a bit during that time, that actually gave them knowledge that with my past knowledge with this field as well, that they think that I can be very successful at that job. So it's something that a lot of autistics tend to fear, but it's really something that really you shouldn't fear whatsoever. So if you're somebody that knows an autistic person that's trying to get for a successful job, tell them to don't be afraid to disclose your autism because you know if you do that it allows them to be more upfront about themselves so be a little more honest about their intellectual disability and some of the challenges that they go through and how they were able to succeed and get to that point if you do that I promise you it will be a lot better off for the autistic people in return and that will help them a lot more with being able to land a job and that's something that I really do feel like the organizations and businesses should do a lot better at you know giving people that have autism a chance. I feel like that there's a little bit of discrimination that goes on when it comes to intellectually disabled autistic people because you know there's a real fear sometimes that you know when an autistic disclose their disability it ends up costing them the job and unfortunately it does happen quite a bit. I mean I don't know many but but I have read online and it does happen quite a bit so I feel like that that is something that can be a much bigger improvement on and fortunately the New Jersey Symphony was one of those organizations that understood well about intellectual Intellectual disabilities like the ones I do and actually give people a chance to be able to work at their organization NCC like I'm doing right now so they were willing to give me a chance because of that and I feel like that's exactly what businesses organizations and those that are doing the interviews should do a lot better at as well and so I feel like that you know don't give them any reason to not disclose their intellectual disability. Allow them to do so because chances are there's a positive story that might come out of this that can help them with winning the job. So do not be afraid to disclose their autism and I promise you, it will be a lot better off in return. It's a tough job market and one of the most competitive there is in today's America. And there's a lot of autistic people out there that can be just as capable of succeeding at their jobs than most other people would. But unfortunately, Usually, the interview process is usually where things always end up being screwed up for them because usually there are a lot of crippled questions that can really hurt them and despite a lot of practices, there are still quite a bit of unknowns there that can really hurt their ability to land a job. But you know what? It is still a very strong job market and one that I believe can still be very beneficial for autistics in a major office level or major industry level job outside retail that they can succeed in as long as they have an enough help to be able to succeed at their particular job. So these particular steps can help them with being able to bridge that gap and be able to land a job of their dreams. And I do hope that businesses and organizations take note of this nationwide because there are a lot of autistics in this world and that is only continuing to grow. And there are a lot of them that are just as capable of being able to succeed at their job. And I feel like that it's more important to give them that chance because there's a good possibility that they may have a lot of skills that a lot of other people don't that might be able to help the organization become better. And I promise you that is something that I think that we really need in today's world. So in my opinion, Giving them those tips to be able to succeed in their interview is something that can help them with landing a job. And for those businesses and organizations, they really need a lot of employers nowadays. And autistic people are some of the best people that I know that can succeed at those positions. So giving them the right steps to be able to nail their interviews and give them the chance to succeed at their jobs. And I promise you, these autistic people, they're gonna show you that they are more than capable of succeeding at their particular organization. So I wanna hear from all of you guys. If you have happened to have an intellectual disability 
at like autism like I did, what was it like, you know, having to go through all those jobs, interviews, and trying to land that job? Did you struggle like I did, or did you have it a little more, more easier, or you happen to know somebody that was autistic, you know? What was it like for them? Feel free to let me know down in the comments along with some suggestions on how you think it can be a lot better for autistics to be able to land employment, and I'll be more than interested in hearing your opinion about it. Anyways, that's going to do it for another video. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you'd like to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when my latest video is released. Comment below for future suggestions for all my videos, whether it's vlogs, projects, challenges, or random thoughts like this one. You name it, leave it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to make them. And as always, follow me on my social media. All the links are in the description below. That's going to do it for another midweek upload. I hope you're all having another great day. And as always, I hope to see you all again in another video very soon. So long, everybody.